You know, you've heard of the Baron von Richthofen? God, the time has changed. The Red Baron, you've never heard of the Red Baron? Oh, um, yeah. Who's the Red Baron? The German ace of World War I, right. That's her cousin, her first cousin. And so she was a uh, you know, countess or whatever it was. <coughs> it was called Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron. Anyway, so the English authorities were kind of suspicious of him later on. Anyway, being married to this, uh, well, I'm not even sure they were married. It's not clear what they were, married or living. In. She had four children by this uh, teacher that she had been married. But he was such a captivating person that she gave up everything and left. And they kind of wandered the world together. They, they never left each other. They stayed with each other ever after, but it was very difficult, sad uh, situation in many ways, because uh, she never saw her children again until they were grown up. And the husband took it pretty badly and so on. They went to her people in Germany for a while, this was before the First World War, then they went down into uh, Italy and lived in, um, in Sicily for a while, and um, you could run around the world then because it was before the um, Club Mediterranean, uh, it was before um, it was before things uh, got expensive. So if you were a bohemian, as it was called back in those days, if you wanted to live outside of society, you could do it fairly cheaply. I know, because I did it. When I got to college, I used to live on almost nothing. And, uh, I lived quite well, actually. And I had traveled for three or four years all the way to India in places. Uh, and I uh, never saw anybody uh, on the road with me in most places that I went. Today, if you go to these places, you'd find everyone with uh, rail cards and uh, hostels and every other thing that you can imagine. But I think uh, we were the first backpackers, actually. And, uh, I might have been one of the first myself. I bought my backpack. I remember it was a, um, it was a um, army surplus from the Second World War that they were selling in uh, Edinburgh on, uh, near, the, near the train station. And some old army backpack. Uh, American Army backpack they have been used in maybe in the invasion, you know, but I go through places in Europe and Middle East and India and places like that, and I was the only one who ever had a backpack, so maybe I was the first one, I don't know. One of the first, anyway. But uh, you could still do it pretty cheap back in those days, and in his day even cheaper. And they did very cheaply, and uh, he couldn't get by straight by writing, which he did, and he wrote great by his novels and stuff. Well, then the First World War came and, you know, things got tense in Italy, so he had to go back to England, and he was kind of under suspicion there, particularly with a, a German wife of the stature that his wife became when her cousin became so famous. <coughs> and um, he always wanted to go to America to found a community of artists, and some American uh, millionaires invited him to come to... <coughs> You know, New Mexico was a big artist center even back then. <coughs> Who's that famous woman artist who moved to New Mexico? Uh, Georgia O'Keeffe. Who? Georgia, Georgia O'Keeffe. People like her were already moving out there in the 1920s. It was probably after Lawrence, but it, <coughs> it had already become a big, you know, attractive place for artists. And this woman was uh, who invited invited him out was uh, her name was. Dodge. I think she had to do with the Dodge Motor Car Company. <coughs> I think I made your own. Oh, here comes my cough again. Huh? I need one of your cough drops. You got a cough drop? <laughs> Slip it to me, kid. <laughs> um, take the wrapper off, okay? Uh, thanks. So. <coughs> Mabel Dodge Lewin invited him out. She had a big house there, Taos. Taos is T A O S. It's a town above the Santa Fe. <coughs> it's still well known today. And, and not as much for skiing as for art and things. You can go and ski there to northern New Mexico. And um, actually, you go to the hotel there, you can see D.H. Lawrence's. Um, um, what is it? What's 
something is, uh, is banned, a painting is banned, what, uh, pornographic, uh, slightly pornographic pictures of him as Jesus Christ. You just have to pay the, uh, just the ones that he did himself, paintings. I know I went in and looked at the paintings in this hotel. You just tip the, the desk man there. 